Fifteen people attempt suicide every week in Jackson County. The numbers are staggering, but a local nonprofit is working tonight to curb those numbers. The program serves hundreds in the Rogue Valley by using art to help teens cope with stress. It's called Life Art, and you may have seen some of their creations at businesses or schools near your home. But as NBC5's Cassie Nelson shows us, it's more about the artist than it is about the artwork. Life Art began in 2009 and its director says he never imagined it would grow as big as it is now. It all started one night with a simple act of grace. Uh, I hear early in the morning, ps, 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 you know, the, the spray can. It was a night back in 2009 that could have ended in trouble for two teens who were caught tagging the side of Phil Ortega's Medford shop. I went outside and I said, gentlemen, good morning. And they were startled. They didn't know whether to run or not. Instead of chasing them off or calling the cops, Ortega surprised the teens by inviting them in. They were really hesitant, but I picked up their backpacks. I said, come and have a conversation with me. He learned the two young men were going to paint a mural for their cousin and brother who had recently committed suicide. So when I asked him why not put that art on canvas and tell the story versus the back of someone's shop, that might not be seen. And they said, well, they didn't have the art supplies and who would listen. So Ortega bought them the supplies and started having them over to his home for art classes. That's in our driveway and we used to do all the art in the garage. That gesture of grace grew into the nonprofit Life Art. Their gallery in downtown Medford's Middleford Alley now holds hundreds of pieces of artwork done by dozens of local artists. The focus behind it is suicide prevention and mentoring teens through tough times. There are over 15 suicide attempts every week in Jackson County, and half of those are um, identified as being bully-like issues. And as they create, they also form important friendships. I really see this as like being a second family for myself. Ortega says he sees the confidence of every artist to build with each piece they complete, something they carry far beyond the gallery's doors. We really believe that the kids themselves are the masterpieces in our lives, not so much the art that's a byproduct. Coming up tomorrow on NBC5 News at 6, we'll hear from a young woman who knows the pain of suicide firsthand, how she's using the loss of a loved one to provide hope for others. In the studio, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.